A DuckDB, an open source, fast, embeddable SQL OLAP database that simplifies the way developers implement analytics. It was developed in the Netherlands, written in C++, and first released in 2019. And the TLDR is that it's like SQLite, but for columnar data. Everybody knows that SQLite is the most deployed database in the world, and that's because it runs as a single binary with no dedicated database management server process necessary, allowing it to be embedded almost anywhere, like the billions of smartphones around the world. DuckDB is built Built on the same philosophy, but instead of storing data row-wise, it stores it column-wise. But why does that matter? Well, you see, storing rows together is great for transactional workloads like most apps out there, like an e-commerce website where you need to read and write entire records at the same time. But it's not so great for high-volume time series data commonly found in analytics and IoT, where you need to read and analyze all the data in one column across many records. When storage is optimized for columns, it opens the door to much faster data aggregation, like calculating an average Average, in addition to much faster filters and joins. And DuckDB achieves excellent performance with massive datasets thanks to its columnar vectorized query execution engine, where large batches of values are processed as vectors in one operation in parallel. It's already in use at big companies like Meta, Google, and Airbnb, and you can get started by installing it, then run the DuckDB command from the terminal. And now, we can start inserting data just like any other SQL database. Then, if we want to read an individual column, we can do so with a select query. And what's especially awesome is that if we have some existing data in a CSV or Parquet file, we can access it directly in a SQL statement. In addition, we could take that data, then output it to a different format, like JSON or even an HTML table. That's cool and all, but the real power of this database is its ability to perform aggregations when working with time series data. Like imagine we have a massive data set of stock prices and need to calculate things like the average, max, and min values for the last day. We can easily achieve that in a select statement thanks to built-in aggregate functions. Functions, then use group by to bucket the data into a specific time range. But under the hood, we get excellent performance because unlike SQLite, which processes data row by row, DuckDB processes data in vectorized batches of rows and is multi-threaded by default, making it an excellent choice for analytical workloads. This has been DuckDB in 100 seconds. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.